كما يوعي لكم انا شمير تا منجست اب يبحال اب فلامينغتون تاور يزقمت مس صبغت غالي ريانا Hi, hello everyone. My name is Ruth Iyakim. Uh, I'm living in Flemington, uh, the high rises, and I'm a, a single mother with one lovely daughter. Mm. Coffee reminds me, my mom with her friend, back home, gathering family. When we do roasted, smell it from outside. Oh, coffee is ready. It goes to three, four neighbors away. You can smell the coffee. And the neighbors, oh, someone making coffee. They come, each other. So the, the, the smell is very important to us, to smell it. And we know it's coffee there when we roast it. And the coffee, yeah, we grind it from the scratch, wash the coffee, dry it, put it in the container, and then um, when we, whenever we want it, we take it out from the container, roast it straight away, fresh, and then drink it. I'll put in a little bit of cardamom, fresh cardamom. Yes, gives flavor. Yeah. And ginger, mix it with the coffee very important it gives flavor to the coffee coffee is compulsory so we have to do it it's in our blood <laughs> yeah. we invite friends in arabic we said, تعالي اشربي جبنة معايا اشربي جبنة في بيتي تعالي نشرب جبنة this is Arabic <laughs> and uh, in uh, Eritrea we said بنستايا نحن بنستايا this is the way Eritrea and uh, Ethiopian which they said uh, coffee foundation. Uh, That's it. And you send uh, children's to neighbor. My mom, she said, <laughs> It's nice. And uh, I grown up in Addis Ababa. So we've been sending to neighbors, call the your neighbors come tell them to have a coffee with us. And then he said, my mom, she said, well, not at all, not at all. That's what I used to do when I was a little girl. When the neighbors coming, you must have this uh, bread with the things because maybe they don't have uh, breakfast or not eating empty stomach we don't want to give coffee so uh, or subun uh, and i'm having uh, in arabic i say um hagga jabana ligemat gurrasa they call it we have to give to the guests so something to eat with the coffee. This is a must. You can't just bring coffee in, that's it. We do incense when the coffee ceremony, uh, which is the traditional from mountain, from the tree, we have uh, stone special stone we crush it from trees and uh, mountains we get at this incense and sometimes they use it in church this incense church incense and also we use this perfumized um, with a lot of perfume and wood 
uh, they made it this uh, bahor. It smells beautiful, more towards to um, perfume. So people, we have to put when we do the things. And as I said, coffee is happiness for us. So the smell of the incense, when you smell, beautiful smell, you, you, your, your spirit, your inner happiness coming more high and high. So in the coffee ceremony, you're always like happy and spiritual things like you, uh, your inside of you, happiness. Uh, when the coffee, always we start to pour, pour it, we pray very short uh, praying or blessing to our God. We say Bismillah, Alhamdulillah for everything, uh, Bismillah rahman rahim and uh, also in another language we say Tamaskam Gaitai, Tamaskam Fatari Ethiopian. Which means uh, I wake up from the bed. <laughs> I healthy and hopeful. All be my day is good. And it's uh, green also. So book maalti wa ala nifat ari tamas gan ka goitai fat ari. We said Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin means thank thanks God the uh, God of whole world creator. And uh, by the name of the God, one God, and then we pour. It's very short, and everyone say Amen. Yeah, coffee, as I said, is compulsory for any occasion. Uh, grievings, happiness, um, people's uh, family problem, uh, starting from, uh, in, for example, wedding deals with the family and um, through the all going to the finishing. And also, of course, some problem come after, after the wedding. So the family gather again to fix the wedding, the, um, married people problem, sit down and have time. In our tradition, you have to finish the coffee, you can't just walk away. So we have a lot of time. So the people, when they make coffee, you have to, enough conversation you have. So no one walk away. So we, if friends fight, family fight, kids and, uh, a couples, if they break up, we just don't do straight away divorce. We have to do two, three, four, five times, maybe more, to make them back again, live together, solve the problem. So uh, this is uh, very important. At that time is really, uh, we, we're really down, of course, by what happened. All of a sudden, we don't know these things. We never experienced of around us police and lockdown in Australia. So a bit we are down. So I was doing in a lockdown a coffee a lot with my daughter. And I feel like uh, the way I do it sometimes when I have time with my neighbors, with my friends, uh, even my daughter, she's sitting next to me. I feel like my friends and family around me. And um, it takes time. I don't have nothing to do day after day. Uh, so I do this uh, coffee ceremony and preparing to the inn, pick up. It kills my time and I feel good spirits. 